Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle back again. And as you can see from that thumbnail, it is finally time for my Melt It Mixology series. <laughs> as I've been mentioning for several weeks now, I have been working on some recipes, which I'm gonna call, you know, mixology. And I have mentioned that I'm only focusing on catalog scents um, that are currently available. That way everyone has the same access to them, to these scents. I have not mentioned um, more detail about what I would like to do here. And this involves you as well. I'm going to basically recommend several mixes each week for one of the new catalog scents. Today we'll be focusing on black currant and plum. I'll recommend some scents to mix those with that are in the catalog, and I would like you all to vote on try it and which vote in the description box below on which is your favorite. We're going to do that for 10 weeks, each of the new catalog scents, and so we will have a winner each week that you vote, and then at the end of that 10 weeks, I want us to vote all of the 10 winners and crown an ultimate mixology fall winter 2022 winner. <laughs> Hope all that makes sense. It does in my mind, but yeah. So each week I'm gonna talk about one of the new scents and suggest some mixes. You vote. There's a winner each week on that. And then we will put them all head to head at the very end of this series for the fall winter 2022 and vote an ultimate winner. All right. So to give you a little um, peek into how I came up with these suggestions, just so you know I'm not, you know, coming up with them out of nowhere, <laughs> I have always kind of done this um, to see if scents would go well together. So the testers that we get for parties, I take the lids off of them and I actually put the wax pieces or the wax side of it right together. If I'm working on something else, maybe I hold it for a little bit, but then I crack it to smell. That way it kind of gives you an idea if one scent ta completely takes over and you can't even smell the other scent, or if it's really not going to work and it's just bad mix, <laughs> or you know, if it's too light and, you know, enough won't power through the other scent kind of thing. So when they pass that little basic introduction, then I get the full bar and kind of do the same thing. I open them up and put, place the wax together and crack them open and smell that. So this, you know, this is our basic introduction and this is our um you know have a little chat and get to know each other to see if it's decent there to kind of get a better idea if one's going to overpower the other kind of same thing and then my next step was ha putting half of a cube of each of the scents in one of these little condiment cups and of course i would sniff them but at that point, I'm going to melt it, half a cube of each scent, and I warmed these in our sunroom, and there is hardly any air movement in that room. So for testing scents or, you know, trying a scent that you can barely smell, that's the place that I use. So that's what I did with half a cube of each. So basically, ultimately, one full cube's worth is what I was melting in one of the the milk glass warmer, which I'm if I'm not mistaken, that is a 12 watt. It's an element warmer. Anyway, so that's kind of how I came up with these suggestions, okay? I don't know if I'll explain that every time, but just know it's not just something I, you know, haven't tried myself that I actually melted these to suggest. Okay. So today, black, currant, and plum, and plum is what we're talking about. And my first suggestion is to mix it with Harvest Blessings. This is what I did on my um, caps to keep track of which ones I was um, melting. And ultimately, 
when I did this process of putting half a cube to half a cube and melting it, I melted, you know, 12 to 16 cents and I will only be suggesting about six. Maybe some it's five, maybe some it's eight, just kind of depends. But the ones that I think you really got to try are the ones I'm suggesting. Not that that's all I tried. I tried plenty of others. So the first one I'm going to suggest is Harvest Blessings. So this did really great from the very beginning. Um, <laughs> what's funny about this is um, so you get, you know, that sweetness, that dark plum note, and you still get that apple and, and pumpkin from Harvest Blessings. And honestly, when this was melting, I was thinking, you know, this is what a uh, fairy tale pumpkin should smell like. <laughs> I think this is what people would expect from the color of the wax and from the name. You know, something that's got that pumpkin in there, but it's got that dark fruitiness too. And not the weirdness that fairy tale pumpkin has. No licorice note in this blend, but definitely you got to try that out. Harvest blessings. Next is toasted acorn and oak that you got to try. And so, you know, if you've warmed black currant and plum on on its own, you know it's kind of on the lighter side. So. Putting it with heavier scents, it no, it doesn't power through it to give it, you know, 50-50. You can smell them both equally. So some of the scents are going to be a little harder to mix and find equal type blends. But that's okay because I am fine with the way it blended with toasted coconut. Uh, toasted coconut. Toasted acorn and oak. I guess what I'm thinking about. Um... <laughs> So I still get about 75% of toasted acorn and oak when I blend it with the plum, black plum and black currant and plum. But that other 25% is, you know, it adds some sweetness and it makes it not so woody. However, Oddly enough, I did get more smokiness actually coming out of this blend. Not not a horrible amount, but it was sweetened, but a little more smoky for some reason. But I liked it. So, yeah, give that one a try. Like I said, it's still about 75% toasted acorn and oak that comes through. But what little that black currant and plum adds to it is great. Okay, next is spiced ember glow this is just my handwriting it's not anything fantastic um <clears throat> so this is a good blend the spiced ember glow ends up being about 55 percent and of course when i'm saying these percentages this is my nose of course which has been known to go rogue you may get the complete opposite of it but either way definitely a good one to blend with for me, it really cut back on that cinnamon and ember note that's in Spiced Ember Glow. And again, it brought that sweetness and that dark fruitiness kind of to it. Made it very nice. Yeah, but it was, you know, for me, pretty equal at least with that scent. <clears throat> Next, I'm recommending Blue Grotto to mix with Black Currant and Plum. Okay, we all know Blue Grotto is a powerhouse, and it doesn't change with this scent. It is still what you get the most of, probably like 60-70% or so. But again, I like how it kind of cuts that, um, I guess, tartness that you get from all the citrus that's in Blue Grotto. And yeah, it absolutely adds a depth to Blue Grotto that's definitely not there, you know? Blue Grotto is like bright and, and light and adding the blue, black currant and plum kind of brings it down and maybe a little calming and less invigorating, just a tad maybe. And let's see. 
Which one do I want to save for last? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Icicles and Evergreen. You got to try it with black currant and plum. If you don't like icicles and evergreen, you may still not like this, but it does you still get quite a bit of that tree note, that evergreen, and really evergreen kind of stands out no matter what scent it's in, you know. Um, and it doesn't change here, but it does again, like give it that, that sweetness and that depth to the icicles and evergreen. And it cuts a little bit of that sharpness from all the tree notes that are there. Okay. Last recommendation. And remember, you're going to try these and vote on them for which is your favorite. <clears throat> Clean breeze. I know you're thinking I'm crazy right now, but hear me out. If you've ever mixed Clean Breeze and Black Raspberry Vanilla, like in laundry or in wax, it's along the same line. You know, you, Clean Breeze to me, and I love fresh scents, and I love like laundry scents, but Clean Breeze is too much for me. It is sharp. It's got a very sharp note to it. And the black currant and plum cuts that sharpness and gives it, I don't know, a little more complexity. It's a little more sophisticated. Yeah, a little more sophisticated. I like that. That's the best way to put it. I just came up with that on the fly here. <laughs> So, yeah, try it with Clean Breeze. And, of course, all of these mixtures, if you, you know, I tried them basically one-to-one -one ratio. But if you're getting too much of one scent, increase your ratio of whatever you want more of or decrease the one you want less of, you know, that kind of thing. But, ultimately, these are the six scents that I recommend mixing to, um come up with some different ways to enjoy the brand new scent in this catalog, Black Current and Plum. So vote in the description box below. And I'm definitely, I'm going to give y'all time actually to um, try these because I, you know, you may not have these bars right now to try. And like I said, this is a 10 week series. So maybe we'll, um, yeah, I'm not going to close voting anytime soon. But I will call for final votes, you know, towards the end of the series. So let me know if you try any of these and which one is your favorite in the description box below. And until then, um, stay tuned for weekly wax meltdown videos during the week and all of the other mixology, melted mixology series on Saturday. Next Saturday, we will be covering Blackberry Spice. So stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. I hope everyone's doing well. Bye-bye.